A bike can realize one's dream. A pair of shoes can make more people's dreams come true. An Israeli company has developed a magic shoe that can teach the brain to take the right step. The step of mind shoe artificially alters foot angles randomly, fosters brain elasticity, and helps regain motor control abilities, effectively stepping up the process of learning how to walk with brain damage caused by stroke, cerebral palsy, or by a bad fall. Lifestyle says the details. One step at a time, this fairy tale says. Wonders and miracles. This shoes brought me back my life. I'm back. For Miriam, walking is an achievement greater than life. Like walking on the moon, perhaps. One small step for health is one giant leap for her. Walking is no simple thing when you suffered a stroke. Four years ago, Miriam stepped out of hospital, confined and consigned to a wheelchair, unable to get up, stand up, and walk. She tried all kinds of therapies until the day she came to this rehabilitation centre and, like a Cinderella, tried these magic shoes, stepped back into her own shoes, and regained her legs, her balance, her strength, her self-confidence. Almost like before, and never again heard people say, "Step aside to let the wheelchair through." This Israeli invention is changing her life. These shoes have returned stability and strength to my legs. Now they are solid as the roots of a tree. I can walk and keep my head up and eyes looking straight ahead, thanks to Dr. Simona. For 15 years, Dr. Simona Bar Chaim. Conducted research on how to help people walk again. Four years ago, she invented these experimental shoes. You walk in an environment that you don't know what will be your next steps. The brain has to ask himself, what is the next step? Will I walk up or go down? Will I? Am I going into an environment of sand or grass? The shoes induce. A challengeable environment, an active motor learning environment for the brain. This concept is the best environment for plasticity of the brain. The brain learned how to walk better. Dr. Barhaim transfers data to the shoes, orchestrates exercises that are specific to each patient's needs. Then she studies the results, analyzes the progress made. Kibalti CVA. Five years ago, I suffered from a cerebral vascular accident, blood in the brain. I couldn't move half my body, couldn't move half a millimeter, even in bed. Then I moved to the wheelchair. Then I walked the walker till I came here. These shoes retain stability to my body and self-confidence. Today, I dare venture outdoors without a walking stick. How do you once more learn doing? What you did once? How do you live with what you lost, and yet become again what you used to be? How do you regain the simple things of life, like walking again, without a thought, and on your own? Before she thought of the step of mind shoes, Dr. Barhaim had to change her own state of mind. More conventional therapy tries to correct. So-called abnormal movements to recreate motions that are typically, generally perceived as aesthetic. But for the disabled, what matters is not the way you look while walking, but the fact that you can walk independently, an achievement in itself. It shortens the rehabilitation period, but it also keeps, and this is the most important, it, it keeps the achievements for a long time. If you walk and it's becoming your natural way of walking, you keep these achievements and use them. If it's an artificial walking in a clinic and you don't use it outside the clinic, then it will vanish. So it's not an artificial training like in a gymnastic hall, but it's a motor learning concept that you can take and keep it in your everyday life. To her surprise. Dr. Bar Chaim soon realized that, contrary to what's been accepted as common scientific knowledge, a healthy brain functions disorderly. Actually, it's the damaged brain that's too orderly, and that's what causes walking difficulties.
In short, chaos, randomness, and disorder is healthy. Order is pathology. Our brain is working in a chaotic manner. As you can see, you can't predict how these pistons will go out because it's a mathematical chaotic equation. Will this go out more or that one? It's a chaotic equation and this is the best way that the brain can learn these walking patterns. Induced by the therapeutic shoes, the walking patterns alter the angles and orientations of the soul in a random way. Deliberate disturbance and chaotic training forces the brain to be constantly attentive and active. This results in improvement of the functions of the parts of the brain responsible for the control of walking. It's a chaos system which has some order and it's the best way to walk in, in the environment because you have sometimes you have unexpected things on your uh, walking and you have to overcome it and if you will walk every time like in regular mathematics 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, you will, you will not handle it. Four. Right. Common wisdom has it that the Middle East is a region prone to chaos. Clinicians and therapists from Israel, Jordan, Egypt, even from Palestine have teamed up to apply chaos theory to science and peace for the good of all. Empowering people by prodding disorder to heal the conflict's wounds may be politically way out, but here they merge in the most unusual way by just starting to walk step by step, one step ahead of the current rehabilitation solutions which are based on robotic, repetitive moves that solve problems only partially. Adam Basheru Adam. A person is a person, regardless of gender, race, religion, or nationality. It feels great. I'm happy. We all deserve to choose life, to return to life, to live, not to be stuck in bed for the rest of our lives. What happened to us can happen to anyone. After all, brain damage, stroke, cerebral palsy are universal problems. The development was funded by the Middle East Research Corporation and the United States Agency for International Development. In cooperation with the United Cerebral Palsy Research and Educational Foundation. We have an idea to have a home version that you can take it at home and train at home without a clinician. You just train uh, two or three times a week like you are doing gymnastics. So that people with stroke after effects won't need to bring a chair with them.